Hi everybody. Welcome to my channel, Jewelry Pirate. This is Barbara. I'm finally getting to the African tribal native uh, jewelry. Okay, and there is some very, 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 very interesting pieces in here that I think you will like. It's not a large lot, um, but it is beautiful. Some of the stuff in here is um, just really, really different and nice. There's a couple things in here that you've um, seen similar things to. Um, you've never seen this stuff, okay? And um, we're going to do all this. We're going to go through it. I'm going to do my best to describe it. And uh, and we'll get through it. i got to find Bertha. Buster is over in the box over there. He's covered in jewelry, so I have to get him um, undone so I can get him out here to uh, um, display the jewelry because I know with this it's probably um, a little bit easier with Buster, but he's going to stay in the box today because I don't have time to move the uh, all the jewelry that's on him off. All right, please don't forget to like the video, share, okay? If you make a comment, if you decide to claim something, make sure you put the timestamp and please a brief description of the item so that I know what you're talking about. I have a hard time when it comes up in between videos and I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, so make sure there's a brief description. Um, you might lose an item if I can't find it and somebody claims it after you. Well, I don't know what to tell you because um, these are the these are the little bit of rules that you know makes my life a little bit easier, and also it'll make your life a little bit easier because you'll be able to claim and get what you want. Okay, um, you can also turn around and hit the notification bell, which will turn tell you when I'm going to be uploading a video or when when a video is coming on. And um, I think that's pretty much about it. Um, sharing helps the channel. It gets new subscribers. Liking helps the channel immensely. It gets the channel in the algorithm. I'm trying to get more subscribers. Um, it's not so much for selling purposes. It's more for sharing purposes. I love sharing jewelry. And the more people that I can get out and... and you know, show things to and explain things to and do different things with, um, the more the better, okay? And if it helps one person or it helps ten people, then I feel that, you know, I've done done some good. Now, I know I haven't put anything in the pirate chest for a while. I will be starting to do that soon. But what I wanted to do, um, I know you guys see these cups over here all the time, and, um... Oh, this is that bracelet that I didn't know where it went to. Um, I wanted to explain to you everything that's in these cups, all right, and what why they're in there and what what they are, and I'll do that very, very quickly. Um, I always have a pair of scissors here. Sometimes there's something that needs to be cut off, so I have a pair of scissors. Um, I have my magnet. I have my UV light. Okay, for testing certain things. Um, then this is the glue that I use. Everybody keeps asking me about the glue. Um, it's by Aliens. It's the ultimate. And the reason why I use this, again, um, it's easy to work with. It's not an instant glue, although it does dry fast. It's UV proof. It's waterproof. And it dies, uh, dries in minutes. And it also dries clear. So, this is the glue that I, I like the best out of everything. All right. Then I always have a sanding block. Um, I need a new one. This one's pretty shot. Um, I keep this um, out here because sometimes there might be a little bit of a mark on something. And if you have a very fine sandpaper, you can turn around and get something off of it. Like, especially a piece of glue that's on something. This works really wonders for that. Um, then I have my... Um, one of my ring mandrels, I have another ring mandrel here, um, right here. And then this is a little tiny little flashlight that if I want to um, look at something close, I can. 
I have a new loop coming, so that'll be very helpful um, that has a light in it. I, I'm always misplacing my loops, so I just ordered a couple more to have on hand um, in case one is over while I'm sorting jewelry or whatever, and another one might be, you know, here at the table. So, uh, and then two that's coming have lights in them. All right, and then in this little cup, I have my brush, okay, and my toothpaste. If you go back and you look at um, one of the how-to videos, I show you how to incorporate this into um, cleaning the worst filth off of a jewelry with this and also making things sparkle. Um, I have two different kinds of tweezers um, because sometimes I have to work with a pearl. Um, I've got a little file in here. And these are great for working with the pearls. They have these little round edges on them and they're easier to, to turn around and get in. There's another file here that I can go in and get some dirt out of stuff and also take some glue off. This shouldn't be in here, the pen. All right. And then I have one of these instant glues here. There's, this is hard. This is the one reason why I don't like to use this stuff. First of all, these get um, totally stuck on here, and you're going to end up breaking the whole thing trying to get it off. So that Aileen's is absolutely wonderful. I'm going to put this back in here. And then I have an awl. And sometimes I'll have a bead that you can't get something through, and I use this awl to make the, the um, uh, hole a little larger. This is also a tool that I use for harvesting rhinestones along with um, this is a very um, fine tweezer and you can use this also for harvesting and placing rhinestones. So those are a few of the things that I have here. Um, in case you're always looking over here and you're saying, oh, why does she have toothpaste over there? Why does she have a toothbrush? And this is one of those Joy Mangano smell smell well sticks although this one is is way beyond its um its use so um let me see if i can put this in here and we'll put this over here okay i got too many things here is what's what's going on all right so anyway i just wanted to do that so it was kind of like a little bit of an explanation as to what um what what's going on like now over here i always have a pile of things that I'm keeping, things that have sold and ha need something done to them. Um, like I got these really cute little earrings here, for instance. Um, I have some of these in mind for somebody. And um, they're um, little chain links, and they're really adorable. But I need to put it, um, new new ear wires on them. I want to make them a little bit better than they are. So that's that's most of the time why things are over here in this corner. Things that need to be repaired, things that have been repaired, things that I'm keeping, I have to go through all this, um, things that I'm gonna, that I have here that are possibly going to be harvested. So anyway, that's what you see over here in this corner. So I'm going to get rid of all that very shortly, so you won't see that too much anymore. And um, let's get on with the jewelry. If you have any questions about any of this stuff, um, you can look back and see, um, like, it's either instruction or a technique video that will show you a lot of different things. So, um, I have my Nefertiri here. I love Nefertiri. And I have my pirate ships. And what is that back there that just fell? Oh, oh a little schnauzer charm. Got my kitty cat, my pirate ships. So, all right, let's check this jewelry out. I think you're going to enjoy some of this. Most of it's in bags. All right, I have a really nice bangle. And this one is pretty big. This is, um, I think it's cheetah. And it's very nice. Um... It's got some wear. It's coming down to some of the copper on the inside of the ring here. Um, it's all velvet inside. This is a very nice bangle. Um, good condition, other than the fact that there is some wear. But you put this on, you don't see that. 
Okay, you don't see it at all. All right, so we have this beautiful, beautiful bangle. Okay, and I have a baggie right over here that as I go through this, I can put everything away and mark the bag with the video number. It's all about organization, trying to make my life a little bit easier. All right, our next item is a really pretty necklace. Um, let's see here. This is really beautiful. All right, let me get Bertha. All right, I hope you can see all right. All right, it's hard. Now, you see here, I don't. I think that that is actually in the bone. But, like I was saying, to check that out, you can always take this and look, just very lightly, go over there, and magic happens. And that is gone. Okay, so these blocks, which you can get at, um, I haven't found them in the dollar store yet around here. You have to usually go to a beauty supply store to get them. Um, or some crafting, um, like stamp, um, stamping people use these a lot. So you can usually find some of these in, in the crafting section. These have a multitude of use. Um, really good. But you saw that, how fast that took that. All right, so this is all bone. This is beautiful. It's got small bone, like hishu type beads going in between. All these beautiful beads up here. Um, I think that somebody added this lobster claw clasp on here because this has a hook. And I think that that was meant to just go in there. But I'm not going to take it off. Okay? Um, so it's basically got a hook and eye closure with an added lobster claw. This is very beautiful. I'll give you a measurement on it. Um, it has some weight to it. The bone is wonderful on it. Really, really, really super nice. And um, you can see a lot of the striations and stuff in the back. Um, so tell that it's bone. It's no cross hatching, so it's not ivory. Let me give you a measurement. All right, down to the middle. It's 18 inches, not counting this long pendant piece here. So this is a very nice, substantial necklace. Okay. Now we'll put that away in the bag. That's right here. Okay, now let's see what this is. All right, most of these are usually stretch bracelets when you see them. Okay, but this one isn't. This one's kind of unique, and um, I'm going to take care of that. I'm going to fix that so you'll never even know that that's there. All that is is um, the orange thread has separated, so that just needs a little bit of little work to it. But these are all these are horn pipe and bone, and this is a cute little bracelet, and it has this little. Um, bone button. Let me give you a length on this and I'm going to leave this one out so I can take care of it. Um, from button to the end of the clasp, it's seven and a half inches, so it will probably wear as a size seven. And let me give you a close-up of it. And you can see how interesting the pattern is on this. It's very nice. Here's the backing. Very, very nice. I like it when you can see all the stuff that's in the in the the bone all right very very nice little bracelet so this is going to stay out and this is going to go in my little little pile that's going to get a little tiny bit of work done to it now this is very old okay this is um i, I got a piece in here you're going to see i'm going to show you you're going to be amazed at this is another beautiful bracelet it has some issues okay but this is old if somebody can, I mean, I probably can do something with this. Um, this goes in between here, and it just needs a little bit of touch of glue. Maybe I can also leave that out and do that. This one is very old, very, very old. It has, um, these are glass beads here with the bone, 
Um, there's some wear on, no, I think these are ceramic. So I think that that's the way they are. Yes. Okay, that's not wear. Um, but this is an old, old piece. And I will work on this piece also because um, you can let this out and make it a little bit longer. But this is really, I mean, this is the center with these ceramic beads right here. And then you have all this cobalt glass beads on here. This is a fantastic um, Native American piece. Um, it just needs a little, a little love. I mean, it can be worn the way it is, but I'm going to work on it a little bit. And I love how this one here has um, some, I don't know how to explain it. It's got a little verdigree too, so I have to work on that. Um, this has um, these beads with a pattern on them. And then these without. So it's, it's different all the way around. Every time you look at it, you see something different. All right. So we have that. I'm going to put that in the back over here. So with these pieces that I'm saying I'm going to work on, um, let me know if you're interested in them. Um, in a sense, uh, uh, if you're interested, you'll have first refusal. And once I get them um, repaired or done whatever I'm going to do to them, then I will contact you. All right. Now I have a little bracelet here. Um, this has, oh, look at these beads are nice. This is on a leather and it's got this kind of a clasp. Um, it's got fish here, a couple wooden beads, some bone. This is heavy. It's pretty substantial. So, uh, Nice carved bone beads here. I like these. These look nice. They really look nice. So this needs a little, a little love for somebody to wear it. And that's all it takes. And the beads are not all tight together. So it's going to have some flexibility when it's on your, on your wrist. Very pretty little bracelet. There's the baggie. Okay, now I have a pin, which is really cute, and let's see what's on this pin, all right, um, on here, this would be great for somebody that is a musician, all right, it has two music pieces on here um, that hang down. And it has a saxophone, a piano, and a harmonica, all done in a brass. And it's, this is all bone. And so is this nice carved little piece at the top. And um, I think this is just absolutely adorable. Um, the harmonica's actually got holes in it. I'm not going to blow on it to see if it works. But uh, it's very cute. So let me show you that close. It's very nice. Okay, we have that. Now I have a ring. This can go in the bag. And let's see what this ring has on it. This is just a hard bone ring. Now something about um, bone rings, um, you have to be, when you wear them, you have to be very careful with them because they are sort of fragile. I'll give you a measurement on this and tell you what size this is. Hang on. This is a size 8. There's 9, there's 7. It's right in the middle. And there is the carving that's on it. It's like, um, you know, going back and forth. It's really adorable. And it is bone. And like I said, you have to be careful when you wear your bone rings. I had a really nice one um, of an element, elephant and I just wore and wore and wore it and I finally split it. I glued it back together again and I still wear it because the bone will, will glue. So, okay. I have a large bangle here and this looks like, um, oh, I think this would be a tiger print on here. Maybe not. I don't know. Big. Anybody have a really big wrist? Want a nice bangle? We have this one right here. You can see the print on it. Mm 
Let's try that. Okay. There you go. It's dark. Okay, got that. We have another bangle here. Now this one is bone also. I don't know if this will work a miracle on this or not. Sometimes you just take this and you just go around with it. Okay, very gently. I mean, this is this is a very fine, the part that I'm using on here is very fine. It's not going to take away from this. All right. And um, sometimes you can, you, can, you can even clean the inside of your brass. So um, this one doesn't need it, though. Anyway, this is yellow bone. And um, size-wise, um, I'd say medium. It's not small. It's a medium. Okay. And I'll show you that up close. It's very nice. It's different. Good brass. It's got weight to it. All right, so it's not no light piece. All right, I have another bangle here. This one's not as thick. Now, this is all... I'm looking in here to see if we can tell where it's made. This one's old. These are all pieces of bone. Very small pieces that are all inlaid into this. And there's like some of them have like a coralish color to them. And there's some browns in here also. Um, it's a really nice bangle. This one here, um, I say medium to large on this one. And this is very pretty. Very, very, very pretty bangle. Okay, we have that. Let's do a necklace. Okay. I haven't been able to get, um, a lot of this in a while. I mean, I still have some in the, in my storage, but it's been very hard trying to get any, any, um, any bone jewelry. I don't know. I'm hoping that, uh, when the summer breaks and people start going outside, that maybe some of these will open up and, uh, and I'll be able to get some, but this again is another piece that's really nice. Um, these are discs, they overlap one another, and they all have elephants from large down to small. And then you've got this here, which crisscrosses again, so these are all bone beads, with your brass caps, and I'm, it's long. And then you've got your, your bone bead up here, it's got a hook and eye closure, okay, and... Um, it's very nice. Let me give you a length on this one. This is long. This one is going to be, I'm going to say it's going to be 24 inches, but I think it's a little bit longer than that, a tiny, tiny bit longer. Um, let me give you a close-up. Hopefully you'll be able to see the, the patterns on here, how nice it is. And the patina. This has got a really nice patina on it um, as far as what's going on in the so this is this is fairly old. It's just a nice a nice piece. Okay, and put that away. Now I have a piece here that it's very old and it has a tag on it. Um, I don't know what you would do with it. I would think that maybe you could make. A pendant out of this it would be interesting um, because it's a bracelet and I think it would only be suitable for a child and um, let me take it out everything all this stuff I don't want to ruin this tag this is is old but anyway it says on here um, for Ron from Arthur Ty Lee and it says circa 1929. Okay, this is a real old little bangle. I'm pretty sure that it's bone. I'm going to check it out closer. It's oval because I want to make sure that I don't see any cross hatching in it because they were sending at that time um, 
that era, they were really sending out a lot of uh, ivory out of Africa. So you can see the pattern on it. It's very pretty. That's the inside. It's darker on the inside. I don't want to take any of this off of here because I just think that this adds to the, the I don't know, the aura of this piece. All right. Okay, so there's that. Put that back. What else have we got here? We've got some interesting pieces. We're getting there. Okay, this one here. This is a, a necklace. This also has a hook and eye on it. And let me see here if I can put this on Bertha. Okay, now these are horn pipe. There is some bone. Okay, there's some metal beads. And then there's this. And the back of this has some kind of a marking on it, but I don't know what. And then there's this piece of bone here. And in the back, I'll show you this. This is how it's put together. It's on um, leather. All right. And here's your wooden beads. They're really pretty. And we have these beads here. But I think these ones, let me see my little dandy dandy little piece here. Oh boy, look at that. They really fluoresce. So I'm wondering if they possibly could be amber. Okay. I'll show you the back of the, uh, the pendant. So you can see that marking that's on there. Come on. I have a hard time with this. It's very detailed. Sometimes if I bring it out and slowly bring it in. There you go. Okay, so this here, this particular piece is 18 inches. Again, there you go. Very nice. Alright, now I have this piece. This is, um, let me get the measurement on this first. Not counting the pendant. This is 16 inches. And I'm not sure what this stone is. It's definitely stone. It's ice cold. It's all different shapes. It's got a huge toggle clasp on it. Whoops. Sorry about that. Okay. All right. So you can see these. Sometimes this this looks like moss agate. Um, and it's got some raspberry Savorsky crystals and some little pearls in there. And then it's got this pendant, okay, which is probably an Indian pendant. And it's very, very, very pretty. Let me show you the clasp. Oh, sorry about that. All right, there's the clasp. Let me move this down a little bit. Still getting used to this camera. Sometimes I can move things and sometimes I can't. Let me give you a close-up on this. Okay. Here's your stones. Here's your clasp. There's your pendant. And I think this is a piece of bone that's in this pendant. I don't see any markings on it. But there you go. Very, very pretty necklace. But very heavy. All right. We're getting there. This is more pieces than I actually thought. Okay. 
this we went through all right we'll put this one over here and let's do a wooden piece with bone i love this i should keep this for myself you know that you know what i think i'm going to keep this let me show it to you it's straight up my alley these are wooden here in between there's all pieces of bone okay and they're all melded together they're like concave and then the bone and then this great big piece down here sorry ladies i'm going to keep this i think it's right up my alley don't get upset all right i gotta put that in my special place which will be down here for now now this i think um is shade i can't be positive um this has a little elephant this is the face right here you can see it it's got eyes and the trunk goes up it comes down and it goes up these are beautiful carved beads and you can see through them um it could be adventuring but it looks more like jade to me and um this piece here is this elephant is absolutely adorable and gorgeous um and these beads there's the one here this part of it's going on it but that's part of the mystique about this yeah just to see just the way some of these look the different shades in them makes me think that this could be jade okay so we have that one all right and then let's see what we got here oh we have another leather necklace that closes this closes with a um, piece of bone and it has a bone pendant on it here's the back um, measurement on this without the pendant this is a choker it's is 14 inches so this is going to sit right up at your neck beautiful piece of bone here with a lot of character in it show you that and then you have the piece of bone in the back which is your closure very very nice piece we're getting down to some where i can see certain things here all right now this one i'm not sure about this this is beautiful this is old this needs some tlc it's got a little vertigree on it just on the cord but i'm thinking that this this is um eight and a half inches so a 17 inch necklace and here let me show you the clasp what i'm talking about see it's got a, i can clean that that's not a problem but these beads are gorgeous i don't know what these are they have some color going through them some pinkies and um this is a, an old piece also okay so we have that and like i told you the measurement okay let's see what this is here i've uh, got another bracelet or uh, neck this is a neck piece all right and this is bone and wood i'm pretty sure these are wood yeah they're, they're not real cold but you've got some nice carved pieces and then you got the hook and eye and there's actually an extender on this all right so this is what's in the middle all right these are black and uh, the carvings on one side and you've got plenty of room because you've got this nice extender on here all right very nice piece there's another one here that's a funky one that you might like i think it's it's different all right let me look at this um, 
Yeah, this is bone. Okay, this is a gorgeous bracelet. It's on cord. It's knotted. Um, no, these are not teeth, but they're all different shapes and sizes. This is a beautiful piece. Here is your toggle, which goes in here. I can get it in there. Hang on. Let me try it this way. It might be small. Oh. There we go. So there's the bracelet. So different. So different. All right, we have that. Yeah, we're getting there. We're almost finished. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's. We're almost done. Let's get this big bangle out of the way. This is an absolutely magnificent old bangle. It's all wood on the inside. Okay. And um, I love the pattern on this. And um, it's just really a nice bangle. It has a little bit of, this is going to be a small person, small to medium. It has got a little bit of an oval shape to it, but it's still going to travel. So you can see if you look this way, it's a little bit oval. Very, 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 very pretty bangle. Um, I have that. Now I have this piece, which is very pretty. This has got a a barrel clasp. I want to get it shut before I put it on Bertha so you can see it. All right. This one you haven't seen before. Um, it's got the pieces. This one's going this way, this way, this way. And then this one's, you know, you can see the difference. Okay. And this has the barrel. And then you've got beads that are matching to the pattern in these. I'll give you a close-up on this. Very pretty. It's bone, dyed bone, very nice. Okay, now I got another bracelet here. Now this one here, I'm pretty sure that this is real turquoise on here. I'm sure this is artisan made. It's got green adventuring on it. It has bone, and there's wood, there's chips, and then there's these. This is some kind of a stone here. I don't know if it's, it's too dark to be cherry quartz, but interesting piece, and it's got a toggle clasp. Um, let me see here if I can give you a measurement. It's different. All right. I'm not counting the toggle. It's seven inches, so it'll be seven and a half inches with the toggle. And I'll give you a close-up of that. It's very interesting, very different. Okay. Now, this one here just has a pendant on the bottom of it. This is done in seed beads. And this is bone pendant done with black seed beads and a, um, a barrel clasp. But I love this pendant. Very pretty. Can you see that? It's got a lot of dimension to it. Very nice. Okay, so we have that. Alright, this is a heavy piece. This is all bone and it's graduated. And this has a toggle. Can you see that? This is pretty old. Alright, I think that this 
um, was on something else, and I think somebody put this on because I think what was on there, but more than likely it was probably a hook and eye clasp, and I think it probably broke. And so they took and they put this on there. And this is really nice. This is 22 inches. So very, very pretty. Natural beauty. I wouldn't do a thing to this. You know, as these things grow older, they get different patinas. And sometimes the markings, you know, like in here. Like probably some of these had some more of this on there. But as they wore... You know, some of it came off, but very, very pretty, pretty, pretty necklace. Okay, almost done. Okay, I have a piece here. This is Mukite. Well, there's two pieces. Two Mukite stre um, stretch bracelets. Mukite is a very strange gemstone. Um very earthy tones it has a combination of reds there's even purples in it the yellows very very nice i uh, first time i saw this i asked what it was because it impressed me so much um these are some rough chips here i mean there there's some nice ones in here and then there's some rough ones but these are brand new condition i mean the stretch is great on them so you'll be able to wear these for quite a while um very pretty i love mukite I love it. All right. Now to the bare bones. We got a gemstone piece coming up. I think it's gemstone. Let's do this one that's right in front of me for now. Let's see what this is. This is bone and wood, I think. And this has, wow, what is this? It's like a little man, like a little white image. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this or not, but come on. It's a little piece of wood, and it's like a little man. See it? That's pretty cool. And then these are wood, and it's on a cord. Um, these are ceramic. These ones right here. And then your bone. And there's some silver beads. I like this little man. He's these little butts sticking out in the back. You can see the back of it. Really adorable. All right. Lengthwise, this has got... Um, i got to look at this to see how this opens and closes. Uh, I might have to put a clasp on it. This is a 16 inches. See, there should be something else in here. Gorgeous. I love it. All right. We'll save that big rhinestone, not mere rhinestone, I mean um, gemstone one to last, and we'll get through these other ones. Now, this is just a cord. Um, it's one of the cords that you adjust. It's a gray cord, and it's one of the ones that you can make it as long or as short as you want. It almost reminds me of... Um, um, what they wear on Naked and Afraid, you know, with the bead hanging down. So, not bad. Bone bead. It's not as big as the ones that they wear, but... So, this is good because you can make it any length that you want. Let me put this away. We're not going to need her no more. We've got three pieces left. All right. Let's do this one. This here. Um, got beautiful, beautiful bone beads and some lapis. These are these um, blue beads in here are lapis. And this is the softest calf skin that you can possibly imagine. And you would just put this on and then close it up. Okay, by pushing this bead. Very, very, very nice. I'm not sure what these are supposed to be, if they're skulls or what, but this is, a, this is a nice bracelet with the lapis that's in there. Okay. Let's 
Let's do this last piece here. Oh, there goes the bucket. Um, this piece has got a barrel clasp, and it is going to be 17 inches. Um, little bone. Very pretty. Lots of patina on it. It's strung on, on a cord or on a string. All right. I love the, nat the natural of the beads here. So let me show you close up. These are gorgeous. Okay. And then our last piece is this big gemstone piece that we have. Let me see what this is. Wow. Um, you're going to need to get what's your face out again. Oh, wow. This is adorable. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what this is. But we got a little figure here with a piece of jade in his belly. I'm not sure what that is. If it's a... Maybe it's just a, like a little booty, or but it's got ears like a cat, but yet it doesn't look like a cat. And then it has all these gorgeous, gorgeous, ice-cold stones. And I don't know what they are. They might be plastic. But this is beautiful. These are quality stones. I'm not positive what they are. There's many different colors. There's, um, look at this one here, the color on this. It's mixed with the beautiful. There's pinkish. There's rust. There's greens. There's purplish. A lot of different mixed beads. This one's gorgeous over here, too. i give you a measurement on this. This is um, 17 inches without the, um, the, little, the little icon down at the bottom. This is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so that's what we have for you in this video. Um, I'm going to try to um, get some more of this stuff if I can. Like I said, right now it's pretty, pretty hard. And especially with everybody stuck in the house and now people getting their stimulus payments. I haven't gotten mine yet. Um, that, uh, you know, you just can't, you can't turn around and buy anything on, on, uh, Goodwill to show or anything. So I'm hoping that I can turn around and just go through what I have here because I have a lot. Um, I'm not, you're not going to be bored for content. And like I said, I do have more of this style jewelry in the other room so these are out now because I'm going to do some work on them and um, that's pretty much it for today don't forget that thumbs up button I would really appreciate it these are the earrings from the other video a few days ago that I decided to keep so I'm going to put these in here and then I'm going to put them with that necklace and then they're going to go in my stash bucket what do I call bait and switch um, you know like I'll keep something and and then you know when I get tired of it I'll just switch it out for something else so um, that's what everybody should do share share your jewelry you know and, and, and anytime that you look at jewelry this is a cute little bracelet here I kept this look at it you know and try to think who wore this and what they wore it with and um, sometimes you can come up with some really good things in your mind like this is by I can't read it but um, if you're interested in um, old clothing and stuff um, and jewelry there's a really good channel on YouTube and um, I watch it a lot because you'll learn a lot about um, old clothing and designers and stuff. And also she throws in jewelry. Her name is Doris. 
and the channel is called The Way We War. So if you ever get a chance to type that in and, and, and look, um, she's got a lot of episodes on there. Something might uh, spark your interest and then other things they might not. I just saw um, a whole, um, she just posted a new one, a whole thing on Gavache. And it was really, really interesting. And uh, what happened to that that brand and, and how it turned around and it, it evolved into many different things. So anyway, I just figured I'd share that little bit of information. I'm going to run now. Um, thumbs up share comment tell me that you like the video tell me what you want to see and don't forget to hit the notification bell and i will have a video again for you in the not too um not too distant future so everybody stay well um healthy safe and happy and i'll be seeing you soon bye bye